Hey buddies, Jose here, Wire Ninjas. We build systems and circuits of integrity. We are also Dream Media's preferred install partner in the tri-state area. And what that means is two things. Number one, we make cool, awesome videos for you guys. And number two, if you need install in this area, they're going to refer you to us. So, let's get into it. Today we're doing a Wire Ninjas Workbench video. The Wire Ninjas Workbench series where we show you how to do things. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to be terminating RG6 today, and particularly with an RCA head. So let's show you how and what that's like. We'll go over end to end the common uses of the cable and the termination. We're also going to show you how to do it firsthand. So let's check it out. All right, gang. So before we actually get into the termination, let's go over some of the things we're going to need. Number one, we're going to need the cable, RG6. Now this comes in dual or quad shield. Number two, we're going to need the head that we're going to terminate with, which is an RCA head, I call it. Um, there's probably a proper term for this, to be honest, but RCA has been the thing for me my entire life. You know, used to plug these in in the Nintendo and stuff like that. Uh, number three, we're going to need a compression tool to compress the head onto the cable. Number four, we're going to need a wire stripper or a jacket stripper. Uh, this is a two-layer stripper made for RG6 terminations. Number four, we may or may not need these scissors, uh, particularly with a quad shield cable. There's an inner shield that has to be cut out, and I like to use the low voltage scissors to do that. Now, let's go over some of the common uses for this cable as well. So this can be used for a digital audio cable. You'll see that at a lot of higher end audio equipment. Um, some TVs have it. It just says digital audio on the port. Now, also, you can use this as a left, right, or RCA cable. Uh, also, let's mention component cable. All very similar, different colors, but it's all the same head, buddies. Now, the last thing I would use this for is a subwoofer cable. You can pre-wire this and, and use this as subwoofer cable. Now, we're doing RG6 or coaxial cable or call it 75 ohm resist, you know, high resistance audio cable. But also they do make, you know, I think it's uh, AudioQuest and other companies, they make specifically audio cable that is coaxial, but it's high grade stuff. It's made for audio applications. Today we're going to be doing RG6. I just figured I'd mention all that to you guys so you're informed. Now let's get into the actual termination of it. All right, buddy. So let's get into this thing. We're going to show you how to terminate. So make sure your tool is clear, clean, and free. Let's insert the coaxial cable into the tool. Every tool is different. Uh, I use the, the Pro Strip, I believe it's called. Yeah, the Pro Strip 25R from Platinum Tools. You don't need this. I had a really cheap one for a long time. It's easier to work with professional grade tools, though, to be honest. So, step one has been achieved. We have stripped our jacket. Now we can prep the wire. Let's get into step two. And prepping the wire involves using your finger. I like to use my finger and uh, basically fold over the shielded portion of this cable onto the outer jacket in an umbrella-like fashion. Uh, it's kind of like the same as um, a, um, a banana plug termination. You're going to want to fold over the jacket, that you know metal jacket, in an umbrella fashion, you know, everything pointing down over the jacket of the cable itself. So, with that being done, you should be free and clear of any cables in the middle. The only thing you should see is the foil, the shield, and then the copper itself, the inner conductor. So, step two, prep the wire, she's ready to go. Let's go into step three now. Step three is inserting the head onto the cable. Now, I will give you a little pro tip here. The straighter the cable is, the better off you are. As opposed to a coax termination, you can't see through this barrel. You can't see through the termination. So you have to make sure to hit it straight on and dead on. And this comes with time and skill um, developed in the field, to be honest. The RCA terminations are a little bit tougher than the coaxial ones. I will say, though, if you use your proprioception, if you use your, your sense of touch, you can kind of feel when the metal goes inside that little middle pin inside the head. There's a little pin in there and the metal has to be in there. And I'm using my sense of touch to know that that's happening. So it may take some trial and error here. I recommend you do a few. Also, another pro tip is 
Each one of these heads, these manufacturers, these companies, they're all different. So some need a little bit more or less copper than others. And what I recommend is you give a few a try, you know, give one or the other a try, and then basically decide what works best for you or what you get used to because they all do vary a little bit internally on these terminations. So let's get into step four, which would be compression of the head. Now, take a look. My compression tool is not ready for this cable because I've been using it for other types of cables. So I'm going to screw it back, make sure I have the room. I'm going to insert the head. Look, we need to add a little bit more room. No big deal. Insert the head into the tool right through the center. And now I'm ready to compress, so let's do that. Simple compression of the tool. And it looks like we're okay. Now, I guess step five, like I said, would be to actually check and test your work. And what I like to do is make sure that the compression took hold. And um, that's looking good, buddies. She's not coming off. If she comes right off, you didn't do a good job. And it's not your fault. You just didn't have enough time or practice in the field. These, in particular, are a little bit tougher. I would practice them, practice them, practice them, and then get into the field and do them. Uh, I guess the final test would be, you know, uh, an audio signal test, making sure you can pass an audio signal through here. But aside from that, that's basically how you get this thing done. So that's your coaxial cable with an RCA head. Now you can use this again for RCA cable, subwoofer cable, digital audio cable, or even component cables. All right, gang, so that's about it. <laughs> it was short but sweet. I showed you how to put an RCA termination onto an RG6 cable. Now, there's different cables, there's different heads. Like I mentioned in the video, Find what suits you best, whether it's the tools you're using or the termination heads you're using. Uh, the best advice I can give you is try to follow along, do what I say, but also find what works for you. Everybody's different. All the tools are different again. And um, honestly, everyone has a different learning curve. You know, much well before I decided to get into audio video and building circuits in a home, I was very experienced, certified in DC electronics. I did a lot of, you know, not only building fresh, but also diagnostic and repair of existing circuits in an automotive setting. So I had a lot of experience in the field of electronics before I got into any of this. So this comes a little bit quicker to me, no matter what I'm doing. Um, like the learning curve is different for everybody. So practice, and I hope this would helped you. I hope it was informative. I try to keep it short so I don't take up too much of your time either. And that's all I got for you. <laughs> I'm very grateful for you guys watching. Thank you, and we'll see you on the next one. Oh my gosh, is that the Dream Media van in my neighborhood? What? Wait, Dream Media, come back! We need you!